Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my language learning methods. Uh, once again, being freelance translators, I'm assuming all of you speak more than one language. And a big part of being a freelance translator is maintaining this other language and um, or even trying to get better at it. Or if you're like me, you just really like languages and you like learning new ones in general. And uh, I think a lot of you are like that as well. And so I'm usually at any given point in time studying at least some other language. I've talked about it before, how when I go traveling, I have a whole regiment for learning the language when I go there and stuff like that. So anyway, today I wanted to share uh, one of my uh, methods for learning languages that I tend to use. I, um, I didn't invent this. I got it, actually I got it from my app, uh, Anki, and which does this already on um, the app. And it allows for you to do spaced repetition uh, when you're learning new vocabulary. And what I like about it is that it's space, it doesn't space everything the same, but it spaces words you know. Like if you're very familiar with a word, you won't see it for a while, but if you're less familiar with it or if you don't know it that well, then you'll see it sooner. And I like using this method and actually it's very easy to replicate. And so I do because I have a lot of just index cards that I keep uh, for, for the learning languages. And so I, so I kind of set up my own method, which I'll show you here. So actually, yeah, let me show that to you now. I have, oh, you can't see this, can you? I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to lift these up. I have three bowls here. One has a smiley face. One has a so-so face. And as you can imagine, this one has a sad face. So, what is this? Okay, let me let me explain. So bear with me. So what I'll do is when I see my new vocab and when I see my new index cards, um, I always find index cards very helpful just because I can leave them anywhere. I leave them next to my bed. I leave them lying around and I can always be working on them. I can take them with me, put them in my pocket. So I like them. And so what I'll do is I'll look at certain words. And so this is how I write out my index cards for Chinese. I usually have the character with the tones right above. And so I'll take this word and say, you know, it's um, Dangju. Dangju is to block. And, you know, I'll say, okay, I'm, I'm familiar with Dangju to block. And so I'll put this in the little smiley face bowl. Bloop. There it goes. And what I mean by that, so the little smiley face bowl is a bowl of the vocab that I already know, that I know quite well, and I don't need to revisit it for a while. And then I'll take this word, yoi. Yoi is, uh, you know, I'll say, oh, I, I, I know that it means intentional, but, you know, may, uh, or does it mean interesting? No, wait, uh, no, it means intentional. Interesting with yoi. -san. Okay, I check, and yes, it means intentional, but uh, I was a bit iffy about it. So what I do is I put it in this one, where I know it, but it, it didn't come like that, like the other one. And then here I have Du in, du in is pronunciation. I know that very well. So once again, I can put that in there, in the smiley face. But then say I get something like this. Te zheng, te zheng, if I'm pronouncing it semi-correctly. And um, this te zheng is, uh, you know, say I can't remember what it is at all. It means, uh, uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? I can't remember. And so I check on the back and it says, Characteristic, or maybe I don't even know, I don't even remember how to pronounce it. I remember that's to, but I don't remember how to pronounce the other part. Uh, how do I say that? How do I say that? Oh, I can't remember. I have to look it up. Okay, to jung. And um, at this point, if I don't know it at all, then, and if I can't think of it, either the pronunciation or uh, what it means, I put it in this part. And so what I do with these piles is that when I have to revisit it later on during the day or something, this Sad face pile is the one I visit first because this is the vocab that I know least. And the one I know least, so th these are the ones that I will be going over more. And so if I see this again and I know it right away, then I can put it into, I, I usually upgrade it just by one. So then I'll put it right into here. And, um, but if, you know, I have this other one, pull, and I don't remember it at all, put in the sad face. And later when I revisit it later during the day, I still have no idea and can't remember it at all. It goes right back in here. This one gets revisited most often. And then this one and the smiley face hardly needs to be revisited at all. In fact, I can probably forget about it for this session or for however long because I know these right away. So 
And you know, the way I think of it is I want my goal is to make all of these be smiley faces and I want them all to be smiley faces in the end. And so gradually I want them all to move up there. And so it's just a method I keep that is very easy. All I need is three bowls. As you can imagine, my wife isn't very thrilled with this, but there you go. We had these extra, so it kind of works out. And, uh, and it's a very easy way for me to not have to repeat all the vocab that I know really well. And instead I can concentrate on the vocab I know less well, and it helps me improve more quickly. And it helps me use spaced repetition, but in a more efficient way. And so I really like this method. And obviously this is for Chinese, but it can work for any type of language and anything you're trying to memorize. In fact, anytime you have index cards, you can just do a system like this. Uh, once again, if you use Anki Droid, I think that's the app that I was using. It already has it in, um, in, as part of the app for learning new vocab, but it's very easy to set up yourself. And so that's what I did. And I just keep it around the house. So if you're trying to learn new vocab, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's very easy and it's a thing that you can keep around and you see these three bowls with the three faces on them. It, it reminds you as well, you know, you're, if you're wal waltz in or you're not doing something at the moment, you're like, oh yeah, I should look at, look at those. Okay, to jung, to jung. Oh, I still can't remember what it means. Oh, characteristic feature, characteristic feature. Okay, okay. Put it back in, I revisit it. Whatever works for you. For me, I, I try to leave at least a couple hours until I revisit it the next time. Because otherwise I remember it too easily. And uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple system, but it, uh, it works quite well for me. And so I do like it. And I think, as I mentioned, I will be traveling to Korea soon. So soon I'm gonna be putting my Korean vocab in all of these and using the same system for that. So, Hopefully you found this useful and hopefully if you are trying to maintain a language or learn a new language or trying to learn anything for that matter um, that can involve uh, index cards, then you can use a system like this because I do find it quite useful. Um, and that's about it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.